the Economic Commissioner, Oli Wren, says cutbacks and sacrifices are the priority. As promised, here is more of that exclusive interview with Sarah Eason. We are co considering a Vienna-style initiative of uh, how banks could uh, voluntarily maintain their exposure in, uh, in Greece. Uh, and in that context, uh, we are also examining the feasibility of uh, voluntary rescheduling, which would uh, not create a, a credit event. Uh, but uh, debt restructuring is uh, not on the table, it's not in the cards, and uh, it, will, it will not be part of our agenda. And the Vienna Initiative is not in any way debt restructuring? No. It's, extend it's extending the deadline? It would imply this kind of uh, Vienna, Vienna style initiative uh, would imply possibly a uh, voluntary rescheduling of uh, the loan, loans and their maturities uh, so that uh, it would not create uh, the so called uh, credit event. This is the way we see that uh, this could contribute on its part uh, to the overcoming the Greek uh, immediate challenges. Uh, and, uh, of course, in parallel, Greece will have to implement its uh, privatization program to reach uh, the target of uh, 50 billion euros, uh, which represents uh, over 20 percent of, uh, of uh, GDP of uh, Greece, uh, and thus would have a very significant impact uh, on uh, reducing the formidable debt burden of uh, Greece. How far is Greece from those targets? Greece is uh, about to start uh, the privatization program. There has been uh, a list presented of the first companies to be privatized uh, and uh, this will be part of the second phase of the negotiations uh, how the privatization program will be implemented uh, and what kind of guarantees uh, the European Union and its member states uh, in other words uh, Greece, Greece's uh, partners uh, will have uh, that this will succeed and uh, will indeed uh, be done.